So in our committee uh, this year, which I think was one of the um, committees that received the largest number of papers, uh, uh, it's an intense area of research in nano and, and microphotonic devices. And particularly, uh, what's really interesting this year has been um, you know, the ever uh, increasing accuracy of fabrication of these nano structures, especially in silicon. And so we're seeing that, um, for example, in the silicon photonics area, I would say probably one of the most in intensely uh, focused area of research these days, um, where the improved fabrication techniques have uh, enabled uh, further in in integration uh, density. So we see more devices and higher functionality on the same chip. And further than that, we see uh, ultra low power, uh, ultra low energy uh, in uh, active devices such as modulators uh, and uh, um, switches, all optical, uh, not all, all optical switches as well as electro optic switch switches and detectors. So all of the active devices which are, uh, have been very challenging um, over the last uh, you know, number of years, uh, we've seen, in the past years, we've seen um, silicon photonic devices with external circuitry. And I think what's really coming along this year, what's really have, has kind of uh, a very exciting topic, is the, the real integration of CMOS electronics with uh, silicon photonic devices. And, and that's how you really get the very low energy uh, devices. So this year at Clio, with, uh, especially in our committee, um, what's really interesting is uh, beyond um, the integration of uh, other materials such as germanium, which has been done in, in previous years, uh, what's really new this year is the integration of graphene with silicon. So we have a, kind of almost a new field now in graphene silicon photonics. And uh, our top rated paper uh, has, is uh, from IBM and it's on a graphene uh, silicon detector, uh, which has tremendously high bandwidth. So the, the interesting thing about graphene is that, of course, it has very high mobility. And now uh, the ability to integrate that in the silicon platform uh, has created uh, the possibility of very high bandwidth, uh, low energy uh, detectors, and ultimately receivers. At this point in time, it's still a very, very new technology. So. Uh, the responsivity is, or the efficiency of these detectors is not uh, as high as the previous generations of germanium detectors, but uh, germanium silicon detectors. But uh, uh, this is very exciting, and it's, it's really um, caught a lot of attention this year. So you have the possibility of really generating very, very high bandwidth detectors. Um, from the results that we've seen, uh, it's almost instrumentation limited in terms of the, the amount of bandwidth that they can measure. Uh, so th clearly the possibility of, you know, broadband beyond 40 gigabit per second um, and, and, and further. Um, so this is, this is very, very exciting for the possibility of very high speed um, optical interconnects, very high speed optical functionalities on chip. So there are many challenges to the, the large scale fabrication of, of uh, chip scale, uh, silicon photonics in particular. Um, Primarily, it's been uh, the issue of uh, uniformity in terms of being able to tune the devices uh, for specific wavelengths. Uh, thermal stability has been a big issue. And actually, that's one uh, new thing that, that I'm very excited about and I, I was very excited to see in, in the committee this year was, uh, you know, a good number of papers, a lot of really high-end research uh, in progress on uh, temperature stabilization with very low energies as well of the silicon photonic, especially the ring resonator uh, structures, which um, of course you know naturally are subject to thermal drift. And so we see um, highly integrated devices with um, fantastic thermal control and very low energies, um, and that's of course in leading towards the manufacturability, the mass manufacturability. Of, of these devices. In terms of a uh, high uh, index contrast uh, uh, integration, uh, materials for, for, for highly dense integration, again, you know, we've seen tremendous progress in our committee this year along these lines. Uh, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, we see, you know, f uh, higher density of integration. We see, uh, whereas in, in previous years, we saw perhaps one or two devices uh, being integrated together and reported some kind of uh, you know, higher level functionality, uh, we see a much more, much more complex devices, much further integration, 
Um, for example, uh, we have an optical, an op electro-optic switch, uh, a Mach-Zender electro-optic switch that has, uh, you know, tremendously good, uh, you know, bandwidth uh, characterization because it's it's a more complex structure, uh, and that's due to the ability to have you know higher uh, contrast uh, index, you know, in terms of the waveguides and, and the control of those. Uh, we see uh, a high, a very high order uh, filter. Uh, channel dropping filter type of device from the MIT group, for example. And again, this is, uh, you know, these are the, the, the kind of complexity in device integration that was just not possible even just a, a year or two ago. We do have a, uh, we do have a, a number of papers uh, uh, related to, pa to polymer, um, using polymer materials uh, in, in polymer wa waveguides, uh, slot waveguides, as well as even organic uh, based uh, organic silicon hybrid devices as well. Uh, we have, um, in fact, we have an invited paper uh, on uh, focusing on organic, uh, the integration of organic materials with some of these devices as well. So yeah, all of that will be represented uh, with some of really exciting, you know, uh, very, very uh, um, high quality papers in our committee. For me personally, um, it, it's really about the integration of the electronics with the photonics. Uh, and to finally see that happening in, in several of these leading papers this year, from the graphene detector to the electro-optic switches to the modulators, uh, we have a record ultra-low energy uh, modulator, uh, one that's been reported from Sandia. That, that group of papers, really the, the, the culmination of really silicon photonics with electronics, uh, in, in devices that have been optimized for energy is, is really very exciting to me.